What is going on guys? Tomorrow we are going to try one of the most insane balking diets I have ever come across. This is Larry Wheels diet as he is prepping to break some world records and then move into strongman. So needless to say, it is a lot of food. It's gonna be very challenging, very expensive, very painful. So if you like these types of videos, when I try other people's diets, leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and wish me luck. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get this day started. This is actually a pretty typical breakfast that I would have. Six whole eggs, four bowls of oatmeal. He put salt on everything and in the oatmeal. We've got some honey in there as well. So although this is gonna be extremely easy to get down, when you see what's left for the day, you're just like, how in the world am I supposed to eat all that food? I forgot to mention, he also has fruit juice with quite a few meals and I don't have very good experiences with fruit juice, green juice, really any kind of juice. It's actually not too bad. This is strawberry banana. I could definitely drink this on a regular basis. I love oatmeal, guys. One of my favorite foods in the entire world. And for anybody that has been living under a rock, Larry Wheels is one of the biggest and strongest power lifters, bodybuilders, and now strong men in the entire world. He's very popular on social media, so I'm sure a lot of you guys know of him already, but just wanted to give a little bit of background there. I mean, his physique is pretty identical to mine. I've got a few pounds of muscle on him, but besides that, just imagine me with a nice tan. You got Larry. But he does mention how this diet is not healthy, and I would agree 100%. There's no way this is sustainable long term, but he mentions that it's temporary to try to go for this world record lift that he needs to be heavier for. And when you already already weigh close to 300 pounds, you gotta eat a whole lot of food. And that is what he is definitely doing. So being that this is not my first rodeo, I know how challenging this is gonna get later in the day and I'm gonna need all the time I can get. So I'm just gonna keep on going while we can. So next up on his meal plan here is half a bag of sugary cereal. He went with Cookie Crisp. I thought that was a great idea. And with that, we're also gonna be using whole milk, which I've never even had before in my life. I was banned from this as a child. So we'll see if it makes any difference. You guys know now I just drink almond milk, but this just seems super, super thick. Guys, this is a grade A bowl of cereal. And I'm pretty sure Larry and I, we would be friends. One of the things he was talking about in the video, was how all the angry moms got Cookie Crisp to put less sugar in their cereal nowadays and that it's not sweet enough. Cookie Crisp aren't the same anymore. All the overly concerned mothers saying that it's too sugary for their children. They ruined it for the rest of us because now it's, not, it's hardly even sweet anymore. Which I can always get on board with anyone who wants more sugar in their cereal. where things start to get interesting. In total, Larry drinks eight scoops of protein per day, which is a lot. I thought I drank a lot, I drank four. But eight, that is gonna feel very interesting on the stomach. And he doesn't just drink a normal protein shake, you know? He mixes it with ice cream. So he said half a liter of ice cream. I don't even know what half a liter would mean. So I'm thinking that's like four servings. Check out this ice cream though, Oreo and Chips Ahoy. I just gotta take a bite real quick just to see. Oh my gosh, guys, have you seen this at the store? That is the goat right there. Oh, and you know it's like that soft serve, just creaminess, delicious. All right, all right. What do you guys after that is he adds two scoops of protein. You guys know I'm gonna be using the PE Science Select Protein, the best protein on planet Earth, and you can always save 15% using Travis at PEScience.com. I'm gonna go with the cake pop. I feel like that's gonna be a nice combination there. So I'm gonna do two scoops of this guy. Time for the taste test. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie, this is the best tasting protein shake that I've ever had in my life. Obviously, I mean, you mix anything with ice cream, it's gonna be pretty good, but the pea science, that just takes it to a whole nother level. Just thinking of getting this down, this is my pre-workout, by the way. I'm gonna have to take this a little bit slower than the other food, or else I'm never gonna make it through my leg day. I messed up. I'm, I'm basing all of this off of his video, which is 45 minutes long, so it's not like it's a step-by-step -step I can follow. I noticed that I had missed two scoops of protein earlier in the video. So I'm gonna take this, gonna dump it in here. Two more scoops of protein powder. That one was a little light. Let me get a, a heaping for that to make up. Oh my gosh, my stomach is going to absolutely hate me. And then to mix all this in, this is gonna be pre-workout. I know this is gonna be a terrible idea. We're gonna use cold brew. Oh gosh, why am I like this? Why am I like this? Uh-oh. Woo. All I can say is it's a good thing Megan is not home because I'm making a mess. Wow. I mean, that tastes fantastic. That is probably the best tasting drink I've ever had in my life. But I'm just thinking to actually work out after this. That is the part I don't understand. I don't understand how this guy trains as hard as he does with this much food in his system. But you know what? I'm gonna bring this with me on the drive. So it'll give me about 30 minutes to get it down and we'll just figure it out when we get there, guys. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you I run the world, I run the mile. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Guys, this is the longest I have sat in a gym parking lot in my life just procrastinating to go in. My stomach feels awful. That was a terrible, terrible idea, especially before a high rep leg day. but I feel miserable. And finishing off with five sets of 20 reps on leg press doesn't make it any better. Just gonna finish it up and get the heck out of here. Okay, my friends, we are at the famous Bad Daddy's Burgers, but surprisingly, he's not going with a big, juicy, greasy burger. What he has is a chicken sandwich. So that is what I got here. You can see we've got some grilled chicken. I threw some bacon on there just for good measure and some sweet potato fries. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit here in this truck and eat this because you guys know when you take fries home, they're soggy and disgusting. Even with zero appetite whatsoever, that is fantastic. If you guys remember, I've been to Bad Daddy's in a previous video. It is one of my favorite places to go. All right, this thing is falling apart. Let's see how this chicken bacon sandwich is, even though I feel like it's mostly just bacon, which could be a lot worse. Even though after you get through the first bite of excitement, you know, the food is good, you're back to reminded like, I've already eaten probably, I don't even know, to be on the screen, like 4,000 calories today. I'm just trying to get through it, you know? How do the kids say it nowadays? That's the vibe, whatever that means. I'm pretty sure it's a good thing. I can get down with bad daddies, although it's gonna take me a few minutes to get all this food down. Enough talking. We're just gonna get through it and be done. If I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? <sighs> all right, we did it. I shouldn't be complaining. It's um, the most beautiful day that I've seen in quite a while to really be out enjoying it, but instead, we're making some crazy YouTube content for the rich homie, so hope you appreciate it. Drop the video a like if you do. But I really could use a break from the food, although I shouldn't, because I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna hit the wall, and then that's the point of no return. So it's 12, 10 right now. Give myself about an hour, and we're back to it. Champagne with the roof gun. Bought this jam back in Tucson. Think I got to get a move on. Two more scoops of protein powder, another four or five servings of ice cream. I'm putting a little bit more water because I wanted this to be easy to get down. I figured I could just 
Yeah, I can see the internet memes just going, but I really gotta hurry it up here. I'm having some trouble getting Greg all of this footage. So anything repetitive, we're kinda gonna speed through, but just know that this is gonna be just as miserable as the first time, if not more. But damn, that is good. Next up on the menu is pizza. I'm gonna go to this place called Paola, which is right by where I live. I pass it all the time. I always say I'm gonna stop there. So today is the day, but pizza never sounds that bad. It's just so much dairy in my stomach. It's just doing some, some odd things. So word on the street is that this is like authentic Italian pizza, but it kind of looks like, you know, something you'd get at the school cafeteria, but looks can often be deceiving as we have learned with pizza here in Raleigh. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. You know how we do things. It's good. It's good. It's not Lily's. It is definitely not poolside pies, but I'd give it like a 7.92 out of 10. It's edible for sure. Okay guys, I just got a text from Megan saying she's almost home. She's been gone for a few days, which is why I started this video today because she's not a big fan of the 10,000 calorie days, which honestly, neither am I, but I figured at least I could try to get her to eat one of these pieces of pizza to make it a little bit easier on me. Is that cheating? I don't think so. Look who's back, cameraman back in the house. So that counts, I mean, we're like one person. So if you eat pizza, that counts for me. So there's this guy named Larry Wheels. He eats 10,000 calories every day. So that's what we're trying to do today. Sounds like you. Yeah, exactly. How do you feel about that? How many are you at right now? I don't know, Greg, can you put that on the screen? <laughs> I invite Mac. This is what we call efficiency. Whoa. I'm walking. I'm back to making a mess. Of course not. Hey. Hey. You gonna join me in dessert? <laughs> Megan has never had a confetti cake pop tart in her life. Actually, I don't think she's ever had any pop tart in her life. We gotta try it out. Come on, tell the people how good that is. You're not eating a burnt one, are you? I'm eating the two burnt ones. I kind of messed up a little bit, and then I'm eating two more. So I have to eat four in total. It tastes like a warm cupcake that just came out of the oven. You like it? Mm-hmm. I'm a fan. I haven't had these in so long. So instead of two of those small little janky apple pies, all he mentioned is that he eats dessert. Pop-Tarts much better in my opinion. The sugar is starting to hit me. We got one more to go. Should be able to get it down. But then, we've got one more of those <laughs> disastrous protein shakes. Just take one sip. No. Just take one sip. No, it's not, I can smell it. Take one sip. Mm -mm. I promise you'll like it. Mm -mm. Promise. Mm -mm. I promise. No. <laughs> I'll stop harassing you if you take one sip. <laughs> you don't like that? I mean, I don't like it now because it's my, this is, I think, my sixth or eighth scoop of protein today. What with, is it? Protein shake? Yeah, with ice cream. But I made this one really, really thick. With ice cream? <laughs> mm-hmm. Been sitting here like 10 minutes. I haven't really got much down. This isn't the most enjoyable part of the day of eating, but the good news is that these are the last scoops of protein mixed with ice cream. So one of the things he says in the video is every meal should be a struggle and you should always be full. But when you're bulking, I really find it true. Every meal is a struggle. That's when you're doing it right. And I was watching the video, I was like, yeah, even though I'm bulking, I don't feel like that because I have a pretty big appetite, you know, but now I'm at the point where it's like, you don't even look forward to food. And if, you, if you're you like me, you like food, that's, a, that's an odd feeling, but I'm gonna give myself two hours. It's 3.30 right now. Actually, I might even give myself three hours before I think about the next meal, which is another very, very large meal. <sighs> Had to come out and get some fresh air. Feels much better out here. I'm gonna see if cameraman will actually go on a walk with me just to try to get, to get some of this stuff moving, you know? It just sits in your stomach. I can't imagine eating all of this food 
every single day. I also can't imagine paying for it. His monthly grocery bill in, or in Uber Eats or whatever service he uses must just be outrageous. Even today, I mean, I've spent a lot of money on food. I really hope he is working with some amazing sponsors. Luckily for me, I am, and the sponsor of today's video is Movement. You know I've been working with them for quite a long time, and I absolutely love the products. These blue light blocking glasses are probably my favorite product they have ever come out with. As you guys see, I wear it all the time. Today, you know, I'm a big fan of the black on black, so I am wearing the black watch. What's great about these products is that they look awesome, they're stylish, right? But they're very, very affordable. So whether you're buying for yourself or with the holidays coming up, you can buy for your loved ones. I know I bought Megan a bracelet last year for Christmas and you wouldn't even know that you're not spending a whole lot of money, which is great, right? We all want people to think we're spending a lot but don't actually want to break the bank. So very, very stylish products for everyone. You can probably knock everyone off of your list just by going to Movement. And right now, everything on the website is on sale. So if you head over there, you're gonna find great deals and then you're gonna get free shipping and free returns using Holiday 19 at checkout. I'm gonna leave that link down below. So now is the time to buy. Do not wait for the sale to be over. You might as well go save some money, get all your shopping over with, and you will be good to go and maybe even get some fresh glasses like this i love these things so check them out guys i gotta get back in and get some more food so before we get into the next meal one of the things he has is yogurt and granola which seems a little bit random but this shouldn't be too bad it's just this is a, the most dairy heavy diet that i've ever seen in my life and for the granola these oats about these oats and valley chocolate granola these are amazing so i'm gonna have this we're gonna watch Greenleaf. If you guys have not seen this show, you have to watch it. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. I love it. We're already on season two. So I'm just gonna crumple this guy up like so. We'll get through this pretty easy and then we'll get on to the next cheat meal before the last meal. Oh my gosh. You ready for some Mexican cameraman? We're going to one of our favorite places ever, La Rancherita. Get some margaritas. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay guys, so, oh, speed bump. <laughs> Cameraman's over here, Jeff Gordon. But Larry Wheels for his last meal had lasagna, which sounds pretty fantastic, but he said it's whatever cheap meal he wants. It could be a burger and fries. It's really up to his discretion. So instead of Italian, what we are gonna do is go get some Mexican. And I was looking at what I have to eat for the rest of the day. It's really not that much. Like I think I'm gonna be able to get through this pretty easy considering I know what I'm gonna be having for dessert. No surprise to you guys. And that's gonna take up a big portion of it. So really I only need to eat like 1,000 to 1,500 calories at dinner, which is pretty easy when you put chips and sauce in front of me. So shouldn't be too terrible. Except I was thinking about the margarita situation. I don't really wanna take in any more calories than I have to. Oh, that does sound real nice. I'll drink yours. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm pretty full of chips and salsa, if I'm being honest with you. I probably shouldn't have gone that hard. As you can see, we put a dent in there, but I chose the pick three. So I got a quesadilla with rice, beans, enchilada, and a burrito. Oh my goodness. This is a lot of food. Think I can finish it? Yeah. We're not quitters over here. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. But my stomach, I'm like four months pregnant. <laughs> How do you feel about that? TJ is coming. Oh, yeah. TJ is on his way. <laughs> Gosh. All right, back to the house for dessert. Okay, guys, so you know my preferred choice of dessert is always going to be fat and weird cookies. We are gonna have the pudge. This is a, ch oh, a chocolate cookie with Reese's Pieces in it. It is delicious. And then we have, this is called the Black Beauty, dark chocolate. It is so good. This is my favorite part. I love cutting into these beauties. Just take a look at the inside, just covered in a Reese's cup and Reese's Pieces. Super gooey, super gooey. All right, so it's like an Oreo on steroids. Let's just dive right in, guys. That one right there, that just brings the appetite right back. <laughs> As the homie LS says, that just hits different. 
Just hits different. All right, go for the pudge real quick. These cookies, 12.24 out of 10. Release every Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Use Travis to save 10%. They sell out within about the first 10 to 15 minutes, so you have to be on there during that time, and you will be very happy you did. We're getting to the end, guys. One more meal, which is traditionally one of my favorite foods in the world. But right now, it's not sound so great. I'm gonna give myself like 30, 40 minutes, and we'll finish it off here. Nothing like a casual three peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to end the night. Let's just get this over with as fast as we can. Okay guys, this video is over, it's done, it's finito, it's finished. We're not eating any more food, thankfully. This would be absolutely miserable if you had to do this every single day. Like doing it today wasn't fun, don't get me wrong. But the fact that he does this diet every day, wakes up 10,000 calories every day. That's brutal, and I got to about 10,500 by my calculations, but I remembered, I think I forgot to drink some of the fruit juice, so it was actually a little bit lower, but still, we hit 10,000. No more, going to bed. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'd really, really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.